Hey guys, how y'all doing? Colt Bennett coming to you. Welcome to the feed trough, everybody. Guys, so first off, before we get started on what's going on today, the tripod that I usually use to f record my videos has uh, taken a crap. So we're going to be doing this old school and propping cameras up wherever we can. So I apologize for the shaky video quality, but uh, you know how it goes. Anyway, guys, so today... Sunday and I like to do like a pretty nice hefty meal for Sunday dinners uh, and Today we're going with uh, something I've never tried before a Cajun chicken Alfredo in a, a thinner Alfredo sauce It's not gonna be that really thick cheesy stuff. I mean there'll be cheese, but it's gonna be a little thinner and um, A little lighter and won't be quite as uh, heavy on the calories and whatnot is what we're hoping for so um, Anyway, that's what we're gonna do now, <clears throat> let me take it down here to the veggies. Here we go. If you can tell. Oops, there you go. All right, so I have some rough cut up, some... There's a big chunk. I'm going to cut that up in a second. Here. I got some rough cut up, some white onion, and some red bell pepper. Sorry about the lag there a little bit, guys. It's been a long day. But anyway, so rough cut up, some white onion, red bell pepper. Something uh, that uh, every chef needs to know. How to hold your knife. I learned this recently, so don't feel bad. Pinch the blade, like so. And then wrap your fingers and do your cut. I thank uh, Miss Brooke Walker for that, because she showed me how to get her done. But anyway, so you rough cut up your vegetables. Uh, you can cut them up big, small, however you want. Mine are, you know, yay big. And then uh, the onion. You want to leave the onions a little bit bigger chunk, because you're going you're gonna, to uh, saute this for a little bit. And... Um, you don't want the onions to disappear. You want a little. I, mean, I like a little crunch, so I'll eat, I don't cook mine all the way, all the way through. Uh, I don't like mushy vegetables. But anyway, so now that I'm down here real low, and we're doing this from like you know a five-year-old's perspective, you know, right above the counter. What we're gonna do is check out this chicken. Now, what I what I've done is use boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I've already cut it up. Kind of just big chunks, as you can tell, and I'm cooking it in a little bit of olive oil. Whoop. a little bit of olive oil and uh, of course the seasoning and there's a little bit uh, extra water that came out of this chicken which is going to happen from time to time hope we're not getting too steamy there uh, my Cajun seasoning and a little extra black pepper and salt just for to taste my Cajun seasoning I'll, I can put up that uh, recipe here before long on the Instagram account Woo! got all foggy there Anyway, we're going to give it a little bit more of a dusting with our Cajun sauce. Our Cajun, uh, I mean, I've used this as dry rub before, but it's just like a Cajun, you know, Creole seasoning. And um, it's pretty good. It's got a little heat to it, but it's not crazy hot, so it should be good. I'll put that up, like I said, on the Instagram for you. All right, guys, when we get to phase two, I'll be right back, and we'll get back on it. Hey, guys, and we're back for phase two. Phase two is consistent of this done chicken, putting it over here, taking it off the side. So first of all, we're gonna make sure, just be sure that it's done. And I'm just gonna break some up. Look at there. Good to go. No pink, so we're good. So we're gonna take this chicken out. And you can leave a little bit of like the little fat that comes off, or a little piece of chicken every now and then. It's okay because we're gonna use this little broth right here, which is a nice mixture of some of, of the olive oil and I'm gonna heat down just a little bit a little I'm in mean, between medium low and medium so you're gonna take that and that's gonna sit in here this is that uh, a, little, a little bit of the juice that come out of the chicken a little olive oil and some of our seasoning and you can see a little bit of little chicken pieces in there and so now we're going to saute up these wonderful vegetables that we got cooked up so check out these bad boys Ooh, oop, I covered up the camera there my bad but anyway there it is so we're gonna try to pick this up all skillful. Oh, look at that there. One hand. Look, Ma. One hand. Veggies going in. Okay, well, we're going to try and scrape these off here. Woo! Goodness. Those fall out line everywhere. Okay. Boom. All right. So now, you got to pick up all the stuff that you dropped. Because, you know, we're professionals over here. All right, so we got our vegetables in there. Look how pretty that is, guys. That is really going to make that uh, sauce is going to be white here in a little while. And let me tell you, that sauce is going to pop with all that beautiful color in there. Now, so um, we're going to 
go ahead and turn and we got our just put those on let them saute got our water so water a little bit of salt and uh truthfully guys what we're going to try and do here real fast before we you know, kind of what i'm going to do is i'm going to move uh burners real fast so i've got this water on the big burner instead of just these vegetables so that is what we're going to do we're going to switch them over real quick turn that water up on high to get it going and these veggies are going to be over here sauteing so i got the vegetables on medium heat the water on high I'll cover that water up so it'll cook a little quicker. All right. So as you can see, water, veggies, chicken, having a good time. Uh, I put a little salt in the water. Do not put any oil in your water. Just throwing it out there. I know people have been doing it for years, but don't do it. it the sauce won't stick to your noodles. All right. So vegetables are going to cook for a bit. Water's going to boil. When water's boiling, throw the pasta in. I'm using a wonderful bow tie pasta. This is just you know cheap. Got it somewhere on sale. This is also why it's going to be a little bit different than your standard Alfredo sauce, or Alfredo. Alright guys, we'll be back with phase three, which is where we assemble everything, and I'll tell you how it goes. Hey guys, okay, so back here with phase three on the feed trough. Guys, what we're doing now is I got all my veggies out, over here doing their thing, hanging out. So, in the same pot, I put the veggies in, put the chicken and everything, or the chicken and everything in. We're going to melt some butter. And as you see, there's butter in the pan. And there's a few veggies left in here. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We got the noodles. Both bow tie pasta is boiling up the storm over here. Try to make them sure they ain't sticking. Good deal. Now, first thing you do when you're making a uh, any kind of any kind of like uh, cream sauce is you are going to make roux. Like I said, you gotta have some butter, and you're gonna need a whisk. So, shazam! There's a whisk. Now, you got your butter in there. But we're making some good stuff, and this is the south, so we're using butter. Ah, now, that is three quarters of a stick, plus a little extra, and that's what you're doing. So what you're going to do is you're going to melt this down, and like I said, if there's some veggies in there, a little bit, that's okay. A little bit of seasoning, you want that. And so you're melting this down, and we're going to make a roux. And it's going to be a simple roux, really nice, really easy to do, nothing fancy. Ooh, whew, going crazy in there. Yeah. Alright guys, so roux is fixing to happen. And for your roux, you need butter, like I said. I like to use a little bit of canned milk. You can use heavy cream, or you can use half and half, or whatever. So we're, uh, But um, we're going to make this a little bit of a lighter sauce. So we're using a little canned milk, and a little bit of milk, regular milk. Well, uh, I use skim milk here at the house, because that's what we have, and that's what Mom likes, so we're making it. So, we're getting all this. Butter's got to melt down. Alright, so seasoning wise, we've got, of course, a little more of the Cajun stuff. Garlic, salt, pepper, parsley. Big fan. Not a huge on flavor or anything, but it really does add a lot of a nice pop of color. So we'll keep these things going, keep them stirring. Slowly but surely, they'll get done. Now we'll get this butter melted down, melted down. Oh, yeah. Gonna be good. We want a thin, now you, if you want a thicker sauce, you can use you know a little less liquid and a little more cheese and fix it up. So let's go to the fridge. New fridge, by the way, guys. What do you think? All right, we're going in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Italian. You see that, guys? Italian style. Shredded. So I got a lot of cheese there. Not necessarily going to use it all, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh, and this is a, a little-known story. And by story, I mean. Here my spice cabinet. Whenever you are making, check it out. Oh bam! When you're making any kind of Alfredo or anything like that, you want a a little bit of nutmeg to go in your sauce. And let me tell you why. And you think nutmeg, Cole? What are you thinking? That's like a cake spice or for donuts or something. Like you know, what the hell are you doing? So what you do though, nutmeg is uh, it just it brings out a little bit of the flavor of your cheeses that are going in. Now with regular Alfredo, you would be uh, using like Asiago and uh, Parmesan. So uh, in this Italian blend we got here, it's got mozzarella, cheddar, provolone, and Asiago. So it's a little bit of everything. But the nutmeg is just there to kind of bring out the flavor a little bit. So see our pasta's doing well. 
Oh yeah. Come right along. All right, so see now we got the butter is pretty much almost melted in. So in order to make a roux, you gotta have fat, which is your butter, or bacon grease or whatever, but in this case we're using butter. And we're just gonna kinda eyeball in some flour. About yay much. We don't wanna use too much. And you just whisk it. And you kinda, it kinda creates almost like a bread, like a dough, sorta kinda. And you wanna cook it a little so it doesn't taste like flour. And so you gotta whisk it around, whisk it around. See how, see the consistency of that? Yeah, you just like when I, when I'm making uh, my gumbo or something, I you I make a roux all the time, and um, of course I you know use bacon grease or something like that there. But this is about the consistency that you want it, and you want to cook it just a little bit. We don't want to cook it too long because you don't want to like make gravy basically. But you are kind of making a little bit of gravy in a sense. So we're whipping this around, whipping this around, and that looks good. We're gonna start throwing in our milk. This is the uh, the canned milk. Just kind of pour in, get that in there, and we go back and whisk some more. And we whisk, and we whisk, and we whisk. Turn the heat down just a smidge. And see, look at there. She's starting to clump up. Look at that. All right. Now that's what you want it to do. You want it to kind of clump some, like that. And then we're going to go back in with our milk. And we got a lot of milk to go in. Like I said, you would use half and half or, uh, yeah, half and half is what most people use. But, I mean, you can use heavy whipping cream if you want to go really rich. Anyway, you're going to break all that stuff down. You just keep whisking. And you're just we're breaking it all down and it's going to thicken up into almost like, it's like a gravy or a sauce is the plan. We're gonna try to keep it a little thin, but it might get a little thick. I put a little bit of flour, a little too much flour in there, but that's okay, guys, because it's all gonna eat the same, right? See how it's all broken down? No more lumps. Keep on whisking, no more lumps. Now, kind of let that do its thing for a minute. We're gonna throw in, throw in a little bit of parsley for some cool color and a little bit of flavor. Now, if you want to go Italian, you would add. If you want to do like a regular Italian one. You would add in like, oh, I forgot our nutmeg. You would add in nutmeg, of course. You don't need much; just a little, few little, little blops there, you know, just about there. And so, yeah, if you were doing Italian, you, you would use uh, your Italian spices, whether whether they be any kind of Italian seasoning or whatever you like. This is more of that Cajun seasoning, just a little bit. Hang on, I gotta do some stirring. My noodles are getting crazy. Ooh. The noodles, you'll cook them till they're al dente. Which is Italian for uh, soft to the tooth, I believe, hard to the tooth, something like that. Soft to the tooth, that's what it is. All right, we're gonna keep on whisking. And just get it all up in there, all good like. All right, guys. So guys, we're coming up on the end here. Now what you're gonna do here in a second is add your cheese. And whenever that comes down to it, um, which is what, you know, we're going to do here in just a minute. So I'll show you assembly here in a moment, guys. Hey, y'all. Look at that dish right there. Mmm, that's some good cooking. We ended up using a whole package of that shredded Italian blend cheese. And it's a little, it's a mixture of mozzarella, cheddar, uh, Asiago, and Parmesan. So what I will say is that the sauce, I don't know if you can tell or not by the photo, but it thickened up quite a bit when I put the cheese in. And so next time I will forego the cheese in the sauce and just kind of put it on top. But uh, all in all, it came out really good. Served up with some garlic bread and a salad. And uh, so guys, it's uh, one of them things that you can kind of twist and make your own and do what you want to do with it. But it was a kind of a cool little twist and spin on a traditional alfredo dish and uh anyway guys so um this is just one video in the chain and we're gonna be uh, we're looking forward to being out of quarantine so we can get out and make some more smoking videos with uh, friends and family but y'all just hang in there guys uh all this corona stuff will be over before long and and i'll keep trying to put out some content follow us on instagram facebook and of course the youtube channel all right, we love you guys, and uh, y'all keep cooking.